Okay guys, so in the last video we discussed the interface view modes for the library module. In this one we're going to discuss the develop module view modes. And they do work a little bit differently and we'll get to that. But before that I wanted to kind of let you guys in on a little uh, useful secret here. Uh, you guys will probably find out anyway, but it's nice to know right now. Regardless of where you're at, whatever module you're in in Lightroom, using the interface view mode shortcuts, you can get to a different module and a specific view mode right away. So again, depending on where you're at in your workflow, you might want to quickly jump from one to another. An example is, let's say I'm in the develop module and I want to quickly get back to my grid view. Well, I can hit G in the develop module and it'll automatically switch me back to library and be put me into grid view. Um, if I'm in the library module and I want to quickly go to the develop module, I can hit D and it's going to take me to develop and into my basic view and develop module. Again, if I'm in the slideshow and I want to go to the library view and, and loop view, I hit E. Now I'm in the library module under the loop view. So you guys get the idea. These shortcut keys will take you from whatever module to wherever you need to go. So learning them and mastering them is going to help you guys to quickly navigate to whatever task or whatever feature you need in Lightroom to facilitate the task that you're working on. Okay, so next thing, let me get into real quick why the develop module view modes are a little bit different than library module. Um, in the library module, each one of these view modes, so here's loop, here's grid, here's compare, every one of those is distinctly different. In the develop module, they're not really different views, it's more different functions within that same view. The reason why I call them view modes in the develop module is because if you look under library and you look under view, it says underneath view, it has go to develop, crop, spot removal, adjustment. These are the different view modes, which I guess you can call them view modes. Here are also the library view modes. Okay, so the first one, the basic one, go to develop module, which takes us to our default develop view, is D. So I'm going to hit D. We're in develop module now. We have all of our functions on the right, um, all of our different settings. We have all of our presets and stuff on the left. And this is where you're going to spend the most of your time doing your develop settings, from exposure to blacks to brightness, contrast, everything. OK, now, again, like the loop view, it, it looks very similar to loop view, except just basically your functionality on the right side, your settings, are just much more comprehensive. Uh, this is where you have basically the full Photoshop raw at your fingertips and plus a little bit extra. So like loop view I can actually zoom in and check out close-up details. Okay so this is that basic view in develop module. Now the next one if we go and actually look at the view menu you're gonna see that our settings have changed. We don't actually have the same options now. It now shows go to library, grid, loop, view, compare. Okay, so from this basic develop module view, we're going to go into our next view. And this is where you're going to see how they differ from the library module. Our view isn't going to change much, but the tool that we have selected is going to change. And so we're going to be selecting from these tools basically across the top from this adjustments bar. Uh, and the first tool we're going to use is the crop overlay. So this is the crop overlay view. We get there again by hitting R on the keyboard. Okay, or you can always click this button too. Um, and so from this view we have our crop adjustment box and we have the crop and straighten tool selected. And so from here we can make uh, cropping adjustments and we'll talk about how to do that later on when we get to specific details on develop module functions. But for now that's how you get to that view mode. I'm going to hit R again to pop out of it and that's how the develop module views work. You hit the hotkey once to get in and then you hit it again to get out. Okay, so the next one we're going to talk about is the spot removal tool. So I hit Q to get into that. Again, it selects the spot removal tool. Um, we have different options here that we can set. And then we can do things like remove little bits of dust. I've, I've already removed a little bit right here. So I'll click there and you can zoom in. You can see there's a tiny little bit of dust right there. All right, I can move, remove that. Again, I'm going to hit Q to pop out of that. The next view mode we have is the graduated filter view mode. Okay, so from here I can make I can create graduated filters to adjust the entire kind of area. Like if I want to pull down the the darkness of the sky or something like that, I can adjust that down. Okay, now that's not something I would typically do to this image, but I'm just going to remove it. But just so you guys know, we have the the, the graduated filter selected over here. I'm going to hit M again to pop out of it. These are the, uh, the settings for it, and we'll discuss those again later. Hit N to pop out. Now you may, you guys might be wondering why we skipped over this red eye. This is the red eye correction tool. I don't know why, but I guess Lightroom doesn't consider this a view mode. It doesn't have a shortcut. If you want to use it, you actually have to click the button to get to it. Um, but that's there as well. Uh, the next one is going to be the adjustments brush, and we're going to get there by hitting K. This is 
similar to the uh, graduate filter except for we can kind of paint in what area we want affected. Whereas the graduate filter we're pulling it across in an area and it's going to affect that entire area like a, a graduating filter would. The adjustments brush allows us to paint in so we can kind of have specific control over where it goes. Okay. So I'm going to undo that and I'm going to click again on my K button to get out of this. Okay, the next view mode is the white balance one. This is actually the last one in the develop module. I'm going to hit W to get to it, and you'll notice that it's going to select this white dropper tool, the white balance selector. Okay, and it'll allow me to select a white balance based on whatever I click on. Okay, so that's how that tool would work. Um, now, the reason why these are called, why I like to call them view modes, because like every other view mode, it's accessible from wherever you're at. So let's say you are in the library module. Okay, so we're going to switch back to the grid view in the library module. And I go to this image right here and I go, oop, I want to compare, or let's say I want to crop that. I can hit R from here and it'll take me right to develop and select my crop tool. And I can crop it however I like. Okay, I'm going to undo that. Again, I'll go back to the library and I'll say, well, maybe I want to adjust my white balance for this image. I'm going to click W. Again, takes me right to the develop module has my white balance selected, I can click it and it will adjust my white balance. Not necessarily the most accurate tool, but it is there. Okay, so that is why I like to call them still develop module view modes because they're, they're view modes for those specific functions up here. Okay, so let's move on to the basic interface shortcuts in the next video.